Hey guys, and happy Fun Finds Friday. I couldn't remember what today was. Um, so I did a poll on my community tab and asked whether you guys wanted to see a Dollar Tree haul, a thrift store haul, or a new craft um, supply haul. And it kept going neck and neck between the craft haul and the thrift haul. And they're both pretty small. They're not huge. So I'm going to do both of them together. And then we'll see what I do with my Dollar Tree haul. I guess people are kind of getting kind of over the Dollar Tree hauls right now. And I'm sure it'll come back. But I'll do my thrift haul. I'll do my craft haul. And then I'll think of something different to do on Friday. I love going thrifting. And I that's, you know, thrift stores. Um, any little resale shops, restoration, uh, what's this, the Restore, the Habitat for Humanity Restore, garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, I love all of that. And I love using those items in my, like, my videos. I haven't been doing a lot of thrift, thrift flips lately, but I think I'm going to actually start getting more into that, um, just because I have so much that I can use. So I'm going to get some of that stuff out here and using it and then I found a new company and I ordered some stuff from them and I really love the stuff that they sent so I'll, I'll show that after I do my thrift haul and like I said this is a combination of my resale shops and Goodwill and we also have a thrift store called The Village which I don't think I have anything from that one because I haven't been there in a while but I like them too. My prices at Goodwill have been pretty high lately and I usually only go on Sundays and or Mondays or any 50 day 50% 50 off days but Sunday and Monday at my stores is 75% off whatever the color is for that day so that's usually when I try to go. I couldn't make it this week on Sunday or Monday but I did go like Tuesday or Wednesday and I got a couple of things not much because I don't usually go on those days but I'm gonna go ahead start with my Goodwill stuff and move on to the other um, thrift stores and if you hear anything in the background I'm upstairs my kids are home so you may hear a dog barking you may hear doors opening you may hear kids screaming so such is my life and if you're new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by and my name is Melissa and I like to craft with all kinds of stuff thrift store dollar tree you name it i like to use it and um you know if you like what you see be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and again welcome and thank you so much for stopping by so like i said i'm gonna start with my goodwill stuff and it's just a few things and some of them are just like huh but <laughs> i got this little tote thingy and it's like a thermal tote I figured now that it's getting hot, it'd be good to have in our van, like when we go do groceries or when we go on, you know, rides and stuff. And it was $2.99, which like I said, I don't generally buy things when they're not on sale, but I thought $3 for it was pretty good. It has three sections in it and it's pretty big. So I thought it would be good to have in my car. And if I don't use it in my car, you know, it would be a good tote just to put stuff in, in general. So. I got that and then I found these two um, memory keepers pieces they are uh, let's see sew ribbon and you can um, like just put decorations and stuff on like scrapbooks and whatnot and one of them is this design this light is really bright hold on let me turn this light off I guess that should be good you can still see me um, and you can put like designs on your scrapbooks and it has the little like tool to do it with and that shows you how to use it on the back and these were $2.99 each which like I said is kind of pricey but I know this type of stuff is pretty expensive and I didn't look it up like I usually do um but yeah so I picked these two up and they had quite a few like uh what's that thing called the cricket cuddle bug like the pieces to it and I was like well you know what that means that there was somebody probably had a cuddle bug there and I wish I would have found it because I need one but I didn't find that so those were the only two like craft items that I found there well I found another one too then I found this set of wooden spoon there's a spoon fork and a knife it was $2.99 also and they're 
pretty decent because that's my, you know, they're not like the small ones. And I figured this would be cute for some decor piece. I don't know. Maybe sand them down a little bit, stain them a little bit darker because they're that like weird, like honey oak, I guess. I don't know what the color is, but I don't like this color wood right now for my decor. So I may darken it up or lighten it up depending. But I thought those were cute. Then I found this cute little egg uh, holder. Now I have a white one, a bigger one that I use and it is ceramic. This one was $2.99 as well. Um, I just love the color. If any, you know, if you guys have been here, you know I love purple. And my, my decor isn't really purple, but I figure like for the spring and for Easter, this would be cute just to kind of use in my decor. So we'll keep that, you know, for that. And then another thing I got for $2.99 as well, that was like the magic number <laughs> that day, was just this box of little baby books. And they're like that, you know, that corrugated or, I don't know, cardboard or whatever it is. But it's a whole set of them. It has a whole set of them. There's 24 of them in here. And it came in the box like that. And um, I figured for my son they would be good. He likes to, you know, read or read. <laughs> and uh, my daughter will read to him. So I just got those for him. I thought they'd be just kind of good to have around. And then the last thing that I got at Goodwill, I think, yeah, this was the last thing I got. Okay, so I went on Tuesday and I saw it as I was walking out and I was like, eh. I saw like the corner of the bag like this and I just kind of walked past it and kept going and I left. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if that was like those little flowers that I used. If you can see here, uh, hold on, let me turn the stand. So I made that little piece up there and I use all the little flowers and I love it because they're mini. So I uh, thought, I was like, man, is that what it was? So I went back the next day and it was still sitting there, $2.99 and this bag is huge. It's full of them. So somebody must have made, you know, used to make like uh, party favors and stuff and that's probably what they used them for. But um, I mean, it has so many different colors and so many different sizes and I love these little flowers. So I was so happy when I went back and it was still there. So you'll be seeing those little flowers in some pieces that I make soon. So then, all right, so the next thing that I bought, I went to Habitat for Humanity and they had this nice, okay, so I want a dry sink. A cute wood old school vintage dry sink and they had one but it was like small it was like the size of a like an end table or a nightstand so it was smaller than what I want I want one of the bigger ones um, and I saw one at another thrift store that I went to but they wanted like hundred and fifty dollars for it and I wasn't doing it so if I can't find another one, I may go back and get that one and kind of use it in my living room. I have, my decor is so all over the place, but I love like vintage wood pieces just because you don't find that stuff anymore. So I like wood pieces that I can redo and refinish and use in my decor now. I kind of, yeah, I went off on a little tangent there, but yeah, so I saw that at the re restoration and it was like, $30 I think and then it was 25% off and I probably should have just grabbed it while I was there because you know I'm gonna go back and it's probably not gonna be there but it wasn't what I wanted that's why I didn't grab it like just when I was there but anyway what I did find was these little knobs and I'm gonna show you the one without the screw these little knobs and I'm not generally into like two-tone metal you know like gold and so I don't generally go for that kind of um color there but I really like the style of these so I got um four of them and they were a dollar each which they're heavy so I guess it's not too bad so I got four of those and then I found like the matching like handles for them too again I'm not into this two-tone metal but these were just really nice I like the, the style of them and if I want to I can spray paint them 
Um, they're really dirty, so I'm going to let them soak in some Dawn and hot water. But these, I just thought they were cute. And like I said, you can paint them. I wish they would have had another one because I have a thing about odd numbers, but they only had three. So I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed the three that they had. Um, but along with that, these were a little pricey, but not, when you see them, I think it's worth the, was it two or three dollars? I can't remember, three dollars. So they have these marble tiles, and I'm guessing it's about 12 by maybe five, four, yeah, by five maybe, but I love it because it has like this marble finish, and it's got like brown and it's not gray. Well, I guess that's gray. It's more of like a, a neutral tone. And I thought that it would be nice to put these on here. Well, I can't put the other one on there, but like those as handles and make a little tray. I got two of them. And then I figured with the other one, I could make a nice little tray with the legs on it. So I got two of them. And I thought the price was decent. I mean, $3 for a marble tile, I thought wasn't bad at all. So that was all that I got from the ReStore. Sorry for the creeper in there. So if you guys have a ReStore, definitely check them out. They always have like cabinet doors that are good for DIYs. And you never know what kind of like furniture pieces they're going to have. My store doesn't, they have furniture, but usually it's like couches. They don't have a whole lot of like nice wood pieces, unless I miss them. They don't generally have them that often. So I haven't had that much luck finding good furniture pieces to kind of rest restore there. But um, they always have, you know, nice, and then they sell paint and all kinds of stuff. So I always get like the little quarts of paint. That's usually where I get my um, my wood stain from because they have like the, the cans for three dollars so three to five dollars depending on how big they are so you know definitely check them out if you have one in your area um all right so the next one that i went to we have this thrift store called um etc resale and it's uh, affiliated with a christian school that's out here in my city and so i go there and i don't know if you guys have uh if, you got, if your stores use this, there's this thing called Five Stars, and they send you, like, discounts and stuff like that. For certain stores, usually smaller businesses use it as, like, an incentive program for their customers. So um, check it out. See if you're, any of your stores have it. It's called Five Stars. I'll put the link in my description box below. And if you're a small business, that's definitely a good thing to look into. Um, but yeah, they always send like discounts, like the place that we get our hair stuff from that my girls get their hair supplies from, they give us discounts and all that stuff. So it's, you know, definitely something good to look into, but, um, yeah, so I go there and they always have pretty decent stuff and good deals all the time. So I found these two wood candle holders and I, they were a dollar each and I just like the shape of them. I thought they were cute, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're wood, and I love just getting wood pieces, and they're a good size, and I just thought they'd be cute, you know, to do something with, so, you know, they have the little spot in there to put the candle in, I just thought they were nice, so we'll see what I come up with for those, and then I found this cute little metal galvanized teapot, or teapot, uh, pitcher, now, I made one very, very similar to this, pretty much about the same size. I just think they're so cute to use on tear trays and, you know, stuff like that. Put some of those little flowers in there. I'll probably take clean this off, take that off of there. But I thought it'd be cute with the one that I made. And if um, if I think about it, I'll put the, description, put the link to that video in the description box so you can see how I made it. Um, but I just thought that was cute, you know. And it was uh, 50 cents, which isn't bad and then I found these little stickers they were a dollar each I think that day though I had like a discount because it was for my birthday and they sent me like a 30% off or something like that so that's why I didn't you know it wasn't too big of a deal I got these cute little stickers I figured I could make something for my granddaughter make a cute little piece for her and then they had these little flowers and this little fish and they're just you know cutouts. I just thought they were cute 
so I grabbed those and they were a dollar each but like I said that day I had a, a discount code so that's what I used then I got this I don't know if you guys remember back in the day I used to love these little felt animal thingies but I really bought it for the little wagon I thought it would be cute in one of my mini videos painted a different color and I thought that was cute so I grabbed that and it was 50 cents also and these were really cute so I got let me unwrap them all here so I got these they were 50 cents each and they're just cute little ceramic pieces. This one's like a little croc. And this is a little pitcher. They were 50 cents each. I thought they were cute. I'm going to paint them probably. And um, use those. And then, got this cool little tray. Now, I don't really drink wine like that. But I figured I can probably sand this down. And then either use my Cricut or something like that it was two dollars and I figured I can just kind of put something else on there make it something vintage I thought and I love that wood so hopefully I can just kind of sand this down and get that off if not then I'll just display it this way because I like that color of the wood stain there and then uh, stuff back in here so then for the next stuff this is from a little thrift store it's called restoration ministries out here and i know a lot of different cities have them so definitely check that out they always have good things and their mission is um getting bibles for like people who can't get them so these were 50 cents they're just little tubes and i make like lotion and stuff like that so I figured these would be good and they're new the package is sealed so I got those and these wood dowels they were just like random these have little hooks on them so I'll probably just remove those but these were 50 cents for there's six of them in there and then this is just a bag of other random like wood dowels and sticks and stuff and these were a dollar so I got those and then before I had found the ones at Goodwill I found this little bag and these were a dollar fifty and they're just the same little flowers just different colors and there's like six bunches of them in there I think so I like those I got those and then I found this little container full of they're not toothpicks they're thicker than toothpicks and they're like square shaped and they were 50 cents and I don't know how many are in there but there was a bunch of them and I figured they'd be good for my minis and just for crafts in general so that was all of the um the Goodwill or thrift store stuff then I'm gonna start with my craft haul now this company is called Woodpeckers Make It Yours and I just discovered them and I became an affiliate because their stuff is so good. So I'll leave the, um, excuse me, the link and a coupon code. They gave me a coupon code for you guys. I can't remember. I think it's like five or 10% off, but their prices are amazing. So really that's just a bonus because like I said, their prices are really good. So I'll try and give you the price of the stuff as I show you. So you kind of have an idea of what I paid for them. And then, you know, you know. So they had these wood. And everything that they have just about is like wood pieces. Um, and they have different cutouts and different shapes and whatnot. And so I got these two wooden um, cutting boards. And um, it says they're 12 inches. And they were two sixty each. They were two sixty each. So I got two of those just because I'm sorry, my daughter's friend is coming over and I'm trying to <laughs> see what they're doing. So I got two of those and um they're really good quality. They're really thick. They're a little bit thicker than like the stuff that you get from Dollar Tree. 
kind of more Michaels quality wood and I love like the wood grain in it and whatnot so these are going to look really nice stained or even painted whatever you want to do with them but so I got two of those and then I got this cute cut out of a mug or a cup teacup I wanted the mug and I don't know why I grabbed the teacup but anyway so I grabbed this one and again it's just a wood piece this one was all right sorry about that my uh my kids are running around so um yeah so i wanted to get the mug i don't really know why i picked the teacup but it's still cute so i got this one and i'll probably use it maybe as a gift since i don't really drink tea but i figured it'd be cute for like a coffee bar or something like that and this one was doo -doo 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 -doo. This one was $4. And see, I don't know if I picked, I might have picked this one by mistake. But anyway, because I, you know, $4, I wouldn't pay $4 for, for it. But nonetheless, um, I got this one. And it's, I mean, it's big. It's like 10 inches. So it's not a bad deal, I don't think. So then I got this unfinished wood paddle. And it's probably like, I wasn't going to say 12, but probably like 14 inches. And it's a decent size um so yeah i got this one and like i said it's just all this stuff is just wood pieces and i thought that'd be cute to you know decorate maybe put um a name or something on there if you know anybody in a sorority or fraternity that would be good too and put their you know that on there then i got these cute little mason jars they are adorable i love them this is gonna be really cute Maybe get some silver paint on here, decorate the, it's going to be really cute. These were, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. where is it at? These were a dollar fifteen each and they are six inches. So, and like I said, the quality, they're super thick. So that's a good deal there. So I got three of those. Then I got this pack of wood dowels and this was after or before <laughs> I had gotten the ones from the thrift store. But, you know, wood dowels, you can't go wrong. There's 40 of them in there and they're different sizes and it was $2.99 for this whole bag. So, I mean, I think that's a good deal. Like I said, some of them are thicker than others. You can see the different sizes and I'll be using these in, you know, some of my upcoming DIYs. And then I got a few more things and then that's it. So, and then you can tell that they like packaged it individually for you. It's not like they just went and grabbed the bag and threw them in there because they sealed them. And this is like two separate things. So these were like little treaded um, wheels. They were 23 cents each and I got four of them. So obviously, you know, you can paint them or stain them or whatever. And then I got these split uh, wooden balls. I don't I don't know I haven't thought of anything that I want to do with them but I just wanted to have a few because I see people using them and I'm like oh but these are bigger than what I had anticipated I don't know why I saw that they were an inch but in you know it didn't register for me <laughs> when I picked them out so I got 10 of them and they were 18 cents each so I paid a dollar 80 for 10 of them and so I just grabbed those and then I found these little wooden rings and these were 39 cents each so six of them that I got were two dollars and 34 cents so I got those and they're an inch and a half and then I got these um push-in hooks they were 10 cents each and these are going to be good to put like on the back of your signs and they just have like the two little I don't want to open it because I don't want to lose them in the box but let me see if I can kind of adjust it here so they have these little, like, oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's not working. Tear into it here. Um, eh. I got a piece of plastic stuck on my mouth. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So it's this little, they have two little prongs on it. Then you just kind of push them into whatever you're using. So if you, hey, so if you wanted to use it on here, you would just take it, push it in there, and then you'd have, you know, something to hang it with. So that was everything that I got from them. Again, their name is Woodpeckers. 
make it yours. And that's what it looks like. And for all this stuff, I paid $27. 27 dollars 23 for all of this stuff. So I don't think that's too bad, especially for the quality of it. You know, obviously you can go to Dollar Tree, get yourself a dollar one, but the quality is not as good. And I and you get, you know, more of a more choices, more selection, bigger pieces, you know, and what have you. So I will leave again, I will leave that link in my description box with the coupon code. So be sure to use it. Check them out. They have tons of stuff. This was just a few of the things that I, you know, picked out just because I wanted to show you guys what they offered and I wanted to see, you know, how well they worked. So like I said, I'm going to be using these in some upcoming DIYs and I can let you know kind of how they, how they work and you know, how, how good they are or whatever. Um, and guys, I am starting a new channel. So I'm excited. I haven't started it yet. I haven't gotten it up and running yet, or I do, but I haven't shared it with anybody yet except for one person. Um, and so it is going to be like a haul shop with me review channel um, because that stuff doesn't do, sorry, interrupted again. But yes, I'm going to be starting a new channel and it is going to be, um, like I said, haul videos, shop with me's, reviews, all the stuff that isn't craft related, I'm going to do on that channel just because some people don't want to watch that stuff, so I rather just have a separate channel. So I'll do my fun find Friday, fun to find, fun find Fridays over there. Like I said, any hauls, any reviews, anything like that, I will do over there. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. Once I hit a thousand subscribers over on that channel, I'm going to be doing a big, probably craft haul giveaway. I'm not sure yet. Um, Dollar Tree giveaway who knows it's gonna be a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers over there so I will share that video in my community or that channel in my community tab really soon so be sure if that's something that you are interested in you head on over there click it if you know anybody that likes that type of stuff let them know share my channel with them and again I'm gonna be having a giveaway on that channel and I will be having a giveaway on this channel for my 3,000 subscribers so guys, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for always tuning in, always commenting, liking my videos. Just, you know, there's so many of you that I see your names. I don't always comment. I don't always have a chance to go back and comment on everybody's comments, but I see you guys. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. If it wasn't for you, there's no way that I would have made it to, you know, 3,000. Like I always say, I never even thought that I'd make it to, you know, a hundred subscribers and then I made it there and then a thousand came and I was like overjoyed and then, you know, two and three thousand, those came so quick. I didn't even, you know, it just kind of happened. It felt like, so I appreciate you guys so much. I'm not that comfortable. I'm not that, you know, on camera like this and I'm not outgoing and bubbly like everybody else. Um, in person, I am... A jokester I am very sarcastic I'm very you know outgoing once you get to know me so I'm trying to get there I'm trying to get comfortable with you guys so you know I'm gonna try and do more lives get to know you guys as well but again thank you so so much be sure to like this video you know get those likes in there it really helps me out and um, like I said I'll link everything in the description box that I can think of and I will be putting my channel, my new channel up soon enough. So be on the lookout for that. And guys, I thank you so much. And until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.